these very organic, uh, soft shapes, which we in our group find very um, attractive. In the wild one, we're working with the contrast heavy versus light and how the heavy element is uh, carried by the light element. Our concept is to uh, integrate the, the shoe into the body. The image that we had in our mind was uh, running in the forest with our bare feet, so you can feel the wet leaves and the branches. <laughs> by death and uh, the rituals around death. We found a great deal of inspiration from architecture. Our wild shoe symbolizes this man trapped inside a woman's body and he's trying to find a balance between his uh, feminine side and masculine side. We uh, started out uh, being inspired by disgusting things like hairy feet. The big elements are wrapping, the way yeah, you draping wrap, and yeah, you wrap a body when died and we have focus our color scale on the color white, which in many cultures is the color of death. The wild one is more of a conceptual shoe. Yeah. You're not actually able to wear it. In the mild one we have taken the large contrast from the wild shoe and made it smaller. We want to make a really commercial shoe but still have um, the essential part of the wild shoe. The wild shoe is more of the expression of the feeling and our mild shoe is the performance part of the shoe. But this is definitely a shoe for the younger generation. Yeah. It has been very interesting to work with the wild one because it's where our inspiration and our creativity comes from. And then turning into this mild shoe that somehow is very commercial. It has been a lot of sketching and a lot of trying different stuff. We have been taking some of the materials from the wild one into the mild one. I think the, the biggest challenge for us have been to, to find out what the essential part in this wild shoe was because we have to transform it to the mild shoe. We've been building with these uh, wooden sticks, um, trying to get this edgy expression. When we went from the wild shoe to the mild shoe, we made it more commercial by not using all of the elements and just having different references and different shoes. shoe could be out there and be sold. I think our shoe could be put in production because it's somehow a shoe that's guiding Ego into a new position on the market.
all want the whole collection. I would really like to buy all of the shoes and I really <laughs> would really want to make all of the shoes because we're really in love with our shoes. So we yeah. would definitely wear them. So that's the bachelor project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>